Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Yellow Jacket Garage. If you have not already done so, please hit that uh, subscribe button down below and uh, like the video if you like it. Uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to swap out that light sensor that we talked about in the previous video. Um, I don't expect it to be a real difficult process, but I don't want to you know, count my chickens before they're hatched, so to speak. Um, I wanted to point one thing out though, is I went to Harbor Freight and I bought two of their sets of body tools. I, I don't remember how much... I've got invested in them less, probably less than 30 bucks for both sets. I don't remember, maybe they were $19 a set. Uh, but because I do, do so few of this type of work, I don't really need to spend a lot of money on the high dollar stuff. Um, if it comes to a point where I find that I need to, then I will, but uh, for now I'll use what, uh, what's readily available and inexpensive. So Here's the little light sensor. You know how well you can see that. I'll show it a little bit more in depth in a, in a um, later on in the video. I don't want to pull it on the, out of the package yet. I want to wait until we're actually installing it. Reason being is I don't want it to get broken. So anyway, um, that's where we're at on that. Let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, this little deal here, that is the light sensor. This is the whole panel that we got to remove in order to get to that light sensor. And so, uh, Let's see how easy it is to pop that bad boy out of there. Probably easier than figuring out where the camera's going to go, but uh, we'll get it done. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can get to this panel. I'm going to lift it up. It actually. That was way easier than I expected. There are two of those sensors. Well, this sensor on this end we couldn't see because it was way down in the hole. This one was visible. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get a couple of short pieces of wire and I'm going to put the wire through the wires here just kind of to hold it so we have a tag in so we don't lose this piece and I'm going to do the same thing on this end so that this connector here doesn't fall down into the dash and we lose that because that would not be a whole lot of fun to try to fish those out of there because that hole is not very big at all. So Let me do that. I'll be right back. We'll go ahead and pull this whole panel here out and uh, then figure out what we're going to do as far as the light sensors are concerned. Uh, we have the one, we don't have the other one. So we'll figure that one out. Okay, what I've done is I uh, stripped back some telephone wire and so uh, I've got the red one and the black one. The idea is just to tie them behind the plugs themselves if I can. It goes out of the way. This one will be easy because this wire is already split. put a loop in it because it's small wire and I don't want it to fall out so I get the tag end of it basically hanging over the dash so there's plenty of room there so let me go ahead and pull this plug however it wants to come out of there and I'll just pull the sensor and it looks like that light sensor might actually still be good The other wire is going to be a little more difficult because it is not split. And I'm not going to split it. So what I'll do is just put a good loop over it. I guess I could have used string instead of wire. Really anything you got, you kind of have a hand will work. 
you're just using it like a lasso to make sure you don't lose it. Move that grill out of the way. Okay, this one seems to have... Oh, that's fun. There's a pigtail on that one. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead and grab that uh, other sensor. We'll pull it out of the bag, take a quick peek at it, and actually see which sensor we've got. Okay, we have this sensor over here, which that sensor appears to be good still. And we need this sensor over here. And this sensor has, it looks like it's, it feels like it's got a, uh, another connector down here. There's a, like a pigtail or something down there. And getting that out of there doesn't feel like it's going to be an easy thing. So. Since we already know this sensor is bad, I'm going to see if this thing will, if it comes apart. Because it looks like it does. It's just a matter of figuring it. Ah, there we go. Okay, that part comes off, but... Yeah, it's definitely no good. That does us no good there, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely sunbaked. It's not going back in now, so. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out what sensor that one is and see if any, anybody has one in stock and then we'll pick it up. Okay, so you can see that this one kinda fell apart. What this one actually is, this sensor wire goes to the uh, GM sunload temperature sensor and the top of that is supposed to be not that white color. It's supposed to have another dome over it that has, um, it's supposed to be like a, well there's the white dome. It's supposed to be a really dark gray color and inside is where the the light sensor and what it does is it sits in the dash and so when you've got your AC running it senses the amount of sun load or heat that's coming through so that it can adjust your HVAC to work with what you've got. We're gonna go ahead and hopefully pull this one apart. And while we've got it out this is the one that we were originally hoping to replace. Let me see. Okay. I was worried about breaking it, but that's part of the other one. Okay. So now that part is replaced. That is new. The old one does. Look like it might have been bad too, but for sure it's replaced and so we know that part of it is done. So once we figure out what we're going to do about this part, it plugs in down here and supposedly that pigtail is accessible, but probably going to have to pull the dash apart to do it. But I can feel where it clips together and that is just not going to be a a good time to get to. So, I don't want to pull it apart and not be able to get it back together though, so, because it's all by feel and not by sight. But it has to be either accessible or um, we'll just clip and crimp, put a sealed connection on these two wires because if that's the easier way of doing it, then that's how we're going to do it, as long as we get a good connection for something that works, because right now, it doesn't work at all. So, 
Hey everyone, we're back for uh, round two. Um, we're going to try to install this uh, sun load temperature sensor, is what it's called. And if you remember earlier on, and the reason I'm saying this is because it's been a few days since the, the, the first segment did the part where it all kind of broke apart. And, uh, and so this is the new one. This part is not manufactured anymore, and so it, you wind up having to find one that's a used part. And uh, this is a used part, it's in good shape. And so got to this point so now we're going to go ahead and install it. Now they say that this can be really tricky because this end of the plug right here is down in the dash a little bit and so hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed that this is not that difficult to replace. Um, there is that uh, also that caution on there that uh, people have said don't lose the the plug because it'll fall back down in inside the dash and then it's a real bear to get to. Basically, from what we've done so far, I can I can believe that because it's not real easy to get my fingers down in there and and all that stuff. And so I'm going to try to do the best I can to get footage of what's going on, but I can't guarantee anything simply because it's a real tight space. Um, I need both hands for for working, and so that doesn't leave any hands for filming. So, but I'll do the best I can to get the uh, get the footage. So let's dive back into this thing, and uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed. All right, what I'm going to try to do is show kind of what it looks like down in this hole, but I'm not sure what I can really capture. So anyway, this is the plug right here. Um, I have to separate those two without losing the end of it down in here. Because if it drops down in there, then uh, it could be lost. Now, if you'll see, let me see if I can turn this so we can actually see it. My finger's not in the way. There we go. I actually got that little keeper that is in a hole down in there to pop out. And so that gives me better access to the plug itself. And so I should be able to pull that apart, uh, put the new one in relatively easy, and we'll call it good. But I know that I can't do that um, with two hands and hold the camera at the same time. So, all right, so we got that wire out, unplugged, and then uh, that's kind of the whole sensor all the way out to the end of it. And that's the part that's kind of broke apart. And so it is replaced. And you see that wire that I had tied on there so that in case it dropped under the dash, I had a rip cord to pull it back out of there with. All right, and there we go. We got the new piece in, it's plugged in. And so we have enough room we'll be able to get that piece in and out of there. So what I want to do now, see if I can set this camera here so that it'll actually rest while we put this back together. Let's see if that works. All right, now we got to put this piece, it just pops back in and it twist locks into place. I need to undo the my tag wire that I had on this end, pull that out of the way. And then do the same thing with this piece. Pop it in there. Oops. See how that goes. But anyway, got this one in. This wire down on this end is in. And now we're gonna tuck that back in there where it goes. All right, I keep knocking the camera around. Let's take a good peek at it. This was the one that was the tough one to get in there. Now this dash piece doesn't want to lock in, which is not a problem, but I don't want to force it because I don't want to break it because I'm sure they don't make those parts anymore either. But it is in as tight as it can get in there. And then this one is the other headlight sensor and that one is in place as well so really all in all not a difficult job the last one for this outro went great just so y'all know um, filming was perfect and then somebody flew an airplane over the house and so kind of drowned out what I was trying to say and I really did a good one I promise it was a good it was a good end end scene or end 
whatever you want to call it, the outro. Anyway, so it, so this one's not going to be as good as that one was, so that's what we're going to do here, though, is uh, talk about the fact that what we did, we changed the sun load temperature sensor and we changed out the twilight sensor for the headlights in that little dash piece that we pulled out. Um, the sun load sensor fell apart. Um, you can't buy them in stores anymore, so we had to order one from a used part seller. Got that in, installed it. It was really a pretty easy project. If uh, you're thinking about trying it yourself, just be careful with those little plastic parts when you're pulling them out so you don't break them. But other than that, the sensors come out relatively easy. Make sure you have the parts to put it back together before uh, you take it apart. But, uh, simple project. I would think that most people can do something like that without any uh, real difficulty. If you've got too big of hands, that might be a problem. Find somebody that's got small hands and then get in there and pull stuff apart. But it was a lot easier than I had expected it to be, and uh, which is a good thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. And one more thing. If you have friends that you think might be interested in this content, share it with them. Have them subscribe. I need all the help I can get with subscribers. I'm at 129 now, I think. And so all 129 of you, I appreciate you being here. Um, but tell your friends. Share my stuff. Get it out there. Make me famous. Infamous. Notorious. I don't know, whatever you call it. Anyway, uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and by all means, one thing that I'd like everybody to do is put a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the videos when you watch them. Uh, tell me if there's something that you think I should uh, uh, maybe uh, get more in-depth on, or maybe give me some ideas for some more content that you'd like to see, and uh, I'll see what I can do. But thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being here on Yellow Jacket Garage, and we'll see you on down the road. See, that one was better, maybe, than the other one was, but probably not, because the one with the airplane was pretty good. So, anyway, I do my best. Thanks.